Lobby, lobby. Hello, Collective. How are you guys doing today? I hope y'all doing well. I am. I got us a reading pulled out here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. Excuse my hair. I got it up in a towel. I just took a shower and dyed my hair. It's supposed to look like blue, black, you all. So, we'll see it in a couple days if it looks any good or not, okay? So, uh, thank you for clicking on my channel if you're new. And I hope I can give you something. I do a different type of reading. You know, I try not to get mad because everything doesn't come out pleasant on my readings. I'm sorry for that. I'm a true tarot reader. It's not always going to go nice and pleasant. Now, if I only did love messages and had all this lovey, 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 it would be love, love, love. But... You know, that ain't, it's it's not always about that. You know what I'm saying? I got two more decks coming that you're all going to be very interested in. I can't wait to get them because, um, well, you'll see. And um, I think they'll help the collective when I get them, okay, you guys? But let me get into this. So, uh, the signs that pulled out was Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. All right, so here's how it come out. So, there's a reptilian around, um, you know, and these are militant and relentless predators. They're cruel bullies. They view everything as competition. They fight or flight, fight or flight, fight or flight, fight, 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 fight. They interrogate their predators, you know, and that's that wand energy is reptilians, I believe, you know, and two wands, uh, you know, fire energy come out was Leo and Sag. So, I was just throwing that out there, um where it's at fight or they don't have to be i mean there's a lot of people that's not them signs in their eyes so dickheads and that's all they want to do this could be somebody that's actually in the military or the government also it could be i mean it just depends on who it is there's a lot of cruel bullies out here and they ain't shit that like hell some of them don't even work they're just cruel bullies it just depends but whoever these cruel bullies was uh, you was being judged harshly for things that these people didn't even know or understand about you or your side of the story. So they was, whoever this reptile bully is, they might be, um, uh, they're mad because you're blasting out that they was a cruel fucking bully. And, uh, they're, uh you survived these people. They're all about survival, but you survived this cruel bully. I know because I done read the story when I flipped out the cards when they was flipping out, and and uh and you and, and you are someone that is going to get exactly what God, universe, raw, whoever y'all believe in, wanted you to have because you had faith in divine timing. You understand? So they was judging you, and they did you like you know you you got crucified like Jesus. That's that kind of energy. Yeah. Uh huh. You know. Um, they was making you out to be something that you wasn't. And um, they sacrificed you, and, and that's how it goes. And uh, if you've been seeing animal bones around your home, be aware, because they could be that they're throwing magic towards you. So it could be uh, a cruel bully reptilian that's uh, paid somebody to throw magic towards you, or uh, they paid a group of people. And, and these group of people that spread lies and tales on you only to boost their own uh, ego and self-esteem, but they needed to drop that ego if they ever wanted to grow and stop telling tales. See, they don't care. These people don't care because they're never going to grow up because they was put in your life to uh, throw you throw you off your path. That's what, they're, that's what they're fucking here for. And now these group of people, they want to come back around you. They're like, let it pl baby, please come back to me and let me put one over on you again. This doesn't have to be a partner. They're just, they're just like, please come back. And you're like, no, fuck no. That's how you're saying. Because they don't know how to talk. They lack communication skills. They, they can, the, the, the only way they know how to talk is to put you down and make you feel like a big piece of shit. You know, people like that, you all, I'm going to take my hair down, okay? I'm burning up. I'm having a fucking hot flash, if you really want to know the truth. Um, 
I think I started menopause early. I don't think. I know I did because, I mean, that's what they told me last time I got a pap test three years ago. I need to go again this year. I'm due for another one. So, anyway, I'm going through the damn menopause early because where my stepson shot himself. That's why that woman said I would. <laughs> and I'm about to freaking die from hot heat strokes, it feels like sometimes, you know. Um... You women know that's went through it. And if you know and you ain't subscribed to my channel, please hit subscribe and hit the bell and hit all so you'll be notified every time I upload here on Pound Star Oracle. I love you and I'll, I'll give you something. It might not be today that you get some Alice message, but I got 300 some videos. You need to go look at my playlist, you all. I love you and I'm trying to help the collective. And make sure to go in there and check out my readings. Just scroll down there and find something that calls out to you. And Spirit said, pay attention. All right. All right, so listen. This person, uh, you're you're saying all I wanted y'all to do was tell the truth. Tell the truth of what you all was doing. Why did he, you all have to make it to where I'm not allowed to communicate to a person? How in the fuck do you have that power over me? Like, they didn't want you to talk to whoever this one person is because they know that y'all do fucking big shit. That's why they didn't want you to go towards my fucker. You see, and... Uh, Kind words are like honey. They're sweet to the soul. I know that's cute, ain't it? Um, yeah. Um, they they miss your kind words. They miss your kind words. And you are highly respected and adored. And you've helped to make others realize how to remember where they come from. You know, because you, you, your heart is open and you're positive. And, and they never met somebody like you before, you know. You're the life of the party, you know, if you're chosen one. I mean, people people realize that you, you're meant for something. And let's get this going, Divine Feminine. They're tired of being pushed to the back of the line and saying, hey, when's my turn to be up here at the front? <laughs> and then I'll read it, the bottom, how it come out and read it a different way in a second. And they're saying, um, some somebody just wants what you have. They see you as wealthy in the physical and in the spiritual wealth but you know use your discernment with these people i would whoever it is i don't care who it is if you love them so much you you, you really need to think because they might just be wanting to use you and uh whoever this woman is she was looking in on a life that she didn't know jack shit nothing about this can be some nosy person uh cruising you around online uh, this could be a nosy neighbor, a nosy person that knows that you love this one person and you're trying to go after him and she's in love with him too and she hates you because she knows he loves you. It could be a bunch of people, you understand? But this person does mind manipulation on you and they got mad because you're not paying them any attention anymore. So this could be somebody that's in a spiritual uh, community and they're mad that you're not paying them any attention anymore, you know. They think that you should pay attention to them because they come and take your uh, story. They think that you should pay attention to them or something. And uh, when your heart feels heavy and you feel lost, know that you're going through the dark night of the soul. See, uh, they was trying to manipulate you when you was going through the, the dark night of the soul. This bitch was trying to start a ruckus in your life. When you was uh, going through a battle, you know, like... Yeah, that's why you had to stop and go inside, you know, and figure out, you know, if, if you should go this spiritual path. And and they have they don't understand that they're going to get the same fucking payment, heavy and burdened with guilt. Whatever they did to you to set you up or whatever they did, I know that you're being judged and they lied on you. And that right there is accountable by law that they got to be accountable for it. Don't they understand that? And these people, they're, they act like they didn't do nothing. Huh. And, and your boss, uh, somebody that you used to work for, you know, you might have did odd jobs for them or something, or this might be a uh, boss of a huge company. Uh, they're wanting to build a life with you. He's got intense love for you. He wants to fucking marry you. Ooh, my story. Yeah, don't steal this and take it to your channel because I know some of these readers, it's got 90 and 100 and 300,000 subscribers. They'll steal everything at I say. And uh, these people, they want you to lose out on any opportunity that was coming towards you because they're little pussies and they wish they were smart as a being as you are. Huh? See? They wanted you to miss out on this opportunity with this divine masculine because they knowed he was wealthy and that you and him would look good together. 
But so all it matters is that this bitch, it's all coming back to 955 now. <laughs> and when you're awake, people can't send distractions towards you anymore because, you know, they're in game. So, I mean, whoever this person is, this bitch and man and group of people that thought they could uh, block your block you or throw something else at you again you they they know that you, they can't do that anymore to you they're probably watching you on your channel and uh they know that they're getting ready to receive a thousand times fold karma for fucking with me oh am i collective whoever did to you all they know they're getting ready to okay that's funny ain't it so it's reptile cruel bully they're in love with you I've loved you since the first day I laid eyes on you. Your beauty is mesmerizing. So this person is in love with you. They see you as a as an earth angel. And you got judged by you got you got judged by this reptilian's family that you worked at a family group setting and uh they all judged you harshly. And and that woman stole that today. I noticed she had it in her treasure reading. <laughs> thought i'd tell and remember all people are not good people you have to pray to god and ask god to show you if this person is a good person and a fit for you or if you need to cut ties with that person see uh what they didn't understand is you figured out they weren't good people because they was lying behind your back and and trying to sacrifice a chosen one and 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 might have had somebody to come to kill you or steal you or rape you or shoot you or whatever it was like but i called them sneaking around my truck because you know that's true. It really happened to me. I'm not just putting it in my uh, in my readings like these other readers do, and they think it's funny to talk of shit like this. 1144, and they ain't never had to fucking experience any of it. But they um, they they think they're allowed to, but I think they're going to understand that there's karma attached to stealing somebody's story that you're going to be famous. You can't goddamn mimic everything I say. She's even stole that boss. That boss is in love with you. Everything I fucking say, she says it. And, and, and you'll always feel guilty if you had to leave a person behind that you care deeply for. So, um, you know, we uh, they're, they're feeling guilty because uh, whoever this is that really might be in love with you, they're feeling guilty that they didn't show you any attention because they know you got a, div a divine life purpose and you taught them that they had to connect to their higher self, you know, their self for the good of all involved. And you got to confess to yourself and your partner all your wrongdoings and shady dealings so you can grow into the good people that you're meant to be. You have to do that. You have to. And this divine masculine is uh, not going to give up on you uh, on your all's journey. He's making careful moves that you don't even know that he's doing. You don't even know he's doing it right now. And... Um, uh, and and uh, it says you're highly respected and adored, and you know... Uh, you're, you're teaching people where they come from and your and your uh your counterpart knows it and he's coming to you and, and he don't give a shit what any down body says he he's coming to you now divine feminine and um this person uh, he you know because he knows that he's been pushed to the back of the line and somebody out here is is actually got a partner you might be in a marriage or a committed relationship and and uh, he knows that he got pushed to the back of the line because your partner is, uh, you're all still together. And he's mad that he didn't come towards you. And um, he knows that you're spiritual. You got a lot of wealth spiritually and physically. And he can clearly hear you. Oh, y'all got telepathic brainwaves. So he's, he, he's, so he's clear audience. He can clearly hear and uh, this person that did these, and you clearly heard when this woman would say shit about you, like I did at my job. I clearly heard it. I clearly heard it. My spirit guides warns me. And and uh, and uh, she's looking over here. This person that's in the tarot community. That's why I said it earlier before y'all say what. Why did you say that? Well, because they're wondering if the spells that they sent worked. No, they didn't. They didn't fucking work. So. uh you, whoever you are, you just love being center of attention, and you can't have nobody else. Uh, if they're an up and coming, you, 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 you feel like you gotta steal all their fucking poetry and the things that they say because you are the head in line, head honcho. I mean, you, you can't do that, woman, woman. You can't do that in the spiritual community. Actually, you, 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 you're, um. 
you're a you're a narcissist. You're a overt narcissist because you're tra- you're craving attention. Do you understand? That's what that means. I'm just letting you know. I know what it fucking means. I'm somebody who can clearly fucking teach you what it means. And, and uh, here's clearly what I'm telling you. Um, they they uh, the, the they're my, she's mad that she can't manipulate you anymore. This person is spiritual community or your real community. Whoever it is for you all. They're mad that they can't manipulate this uh, situation because they know it's in your cards. It's in your destiny because they're, they're uh, going in looking in your birth chart. This bitch is she, she's, she's uh, casting spells towards you because she knows what's in your birth chart. I, I know I've got a great birth chart and I know that's why it's taken me forever to get around in spiritual community. Did you all figure out yet that I, I have a good birth chart? And that's why it's taken me forever. And these people, it's got 200 videos and they got 5,000 subscribers. That's awful funny. And they don't have any more channels. So that'll tell you. That'll tell you right there. It's only us certain ones that we know where we come from. And they're they're just trying to not let me come through. But I'm going to bust through the motherfucking matrix or whatever the fuck they call it. I'm busting through it. I'm busting through the matrix. Watch. Oh, and uh, when you, when you're going through the dark night of the soul, they was they got paid money to make you have low or no self esteem. Are you listening? And um, and uh, this one boss that you did work for before, not the one that wants to marry you, another boss. And this is my story. That's how I saying it like this. <sighs> This other boss uh, that went around saying, hey, I want to grab you by the P-U-S-S-Y and, and then went around lying and gossiping and mocking me and telling me to shut my mouth. Um, you're never going to prevail, buddy. Spirit's not going to let you prevail at anything in your life. And, 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 and spirit and God and the devil and everyone knows that you you was just trying to make me lose out on an opportunity because you're a little pussy, and you had never seen a smart woman like me it, what, that had a lot of balls bigger than men. And Divine Masculine knows uh, this other man is not going to give up on trying to get you, Divine Feminine. And uh, this this other boss was sending a woman to go fuck the one that you're in a relationship with. The one that you might be trying to get out of a relationship with. Whoever his stories resonate with, it is with somebody. I know they are. I know it is. They, um... They're sending somebody to screw somebody. Are you listening? And uh, um, to screw uh, your, your divine masculine. That this other boss paid a woman to go f- fuck him because they didn't want you with him. Are you listening? That's how it was. You don't have to be in a relationship. That's what it was right there. They was they 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 was greedy, and they paid a a lot lizard slut. That's what they did. Sorry, but that's what it is. And. And uh, when you're awake, people can't send distractions towards you. You know that. And, and 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 you're teaching people to quit living in their thoughts and learn to live from their heart space. And these people's going to receive karma, and they and they know they are because you're healed and you're not even paying any of mind to them. People, all you're over here doing is saying, "Hey, out with the truth now." You all know y'all's trying to set me up to be killed or raped or my organs stolen or whatever it was. You need to tell the truth, you little bitches. That's what you're telling these reptilian group of people. <laughs> oh, ain't that funny? It's so funny. Out with the truth. It's my destiny. It's your destiny out here, and they can't fuck with it. They think they can, but they stupid. They're they're stupid, and they they better be learning how to connect to their higher self for the good of all. But you know, they don't know how because they're a reptile bully predator. And um, and, and they don't like your light. They don't like your light shining. And uh, it boosts their ego because uh, they're mad that, uh, see, they don't know how to talk to people. And you you always have kind words and can talk to anybody. And they hate you because you spilled the truth. You told the truth on them. They're mad. But you're respected by a lot of people, and people, and, and, and there's a lot of people that got pushed to the back of the line, and one in particular is coming to the front, cause uh, he knows this bitch was uh just just had paid these people and, and, and to do uh mind manipulation on you. That's all, cause they knew that y'all were supposed to come together and do something good, and that's why people always try to block it, cause they're jealous. You know it. Because they're jealous, and that's what it is. 
<laughs> all right so here what i got out here was this is uh for leo uh you're helping others to recognize and confront their addictive behavior okay maybe there's a leo paying attention to me right now and hang on let me pick these up and uh i'm telling this leo you need to embrace this new change and move easily and confidently through these changes in your life and Mars came out, and this is known as the warrior planet and the planet of action and determination. you got to be action-oriented and determined, okay? And uh, this it's, it's also associated with confidence, courage, and ambition in life and governs how we fight with others and how we protect ourselves and, ha and who we care about and our intimate desires and our aggressive and competitive side. side. It also represents our passions and sexuality and lust for life. Mars changes signs approximately every one and a half months, except when in retrograde. Are you hearing that? So, so all this Mars energy is trying to help you to embrace all this change and uh, and uh, to break free of all these spells. See, that's why I'm, uh, alchemy come out, and maybe you're alchemizing this change. And in uh, in these people that might have been doing these spells on you has done it infinity. It, it, they've done it to 2111 so many times uh it's it's a past life are you listening it's a past life connection and um and you're feeling currents of emotion and uncontrolled feelings Ooh, so his past life person's got a lot of uh emotions that they need to let out and uh they need to feel like they have a safe space to let this out to you so you need to make this person feel mo more comfortable than ever and shut up and let them tell you the whole story before you reply or even open your mouth okay that's how you help somebody when they're trying to speak the truth you got to make it safe for them and feel like it'll be okay and tread thoughtfully whenever you open up and let your emotions out you got to tread thoughtfully and you got a hound, and you gain the loyalty of a magical animal, a companion. You choose from the following, a boar, a crow, a hound, a monkey, or a serpent. This is a magical uh, animal that's helping you, so you don't actually see it. It's just helping you along your path. Are you listening? And cruising Mercury, and uh, Mercury takes 88 days to circle the sun. Mercury was a messenger of the gods, quick-witted. Mercury rules the mind, intellect, travel, luck, and divination. So take notes on your personal patterns during this next Mercury cycle. And, oh, ain't it wonderful that Mercury retrogrades quit? Ain't we glad? Thank you for that spirit. But it's still like that post-shadow retrograde, I think. We, we still got that because uh, that happens after the planet goes out of retrograde for like a couple of weeks. I'll read that card to you in a minute because it actually pulled out. I know that's what it is. Okay, so over here it says, uh, this is for Geminis. Oh, the twins. This is about cross-pollinating um, and surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. So you and your twin both surrender. That's what it meant. I love you. Did you hear that, Spirit? If you love me, hit a like. And, it, and you need to live in the present. I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present. See? You're living in the present. And Saturn, this could be your Saturn return in your birth chart. I don't know, but it's often considered the father of the cosmos and also your paternal figure. It's associated with discipline and responsibility as it teaches us hard lessons and pushes us toward the right path, whether we like it or not. Saturn helps us learn from previous mistakes as we embark on future projects, encourages us toward our destiny. So, you know, uh, the your twin appreciates that you're encouraging them to go along their destiny and they put it in divine's hand they surrender to it just like you and they want to laugh and have fun and they love your smile and your positive energy and just how you're joyful they love every bit about you oh gosh and maybe you got a lot of libra in your chart or a lot of taurus and you all are venetians and, and this is a, a romance of the ages this this is your soulmate you all have empathy for each other. Oh, I love that spirit. Oh, gosh. And you're tapping in the forces within yourself at the moment. Oh, wow. And you're getting messages. And you're, you're very sensitive. And you got a lot of strength. And Oshun is helping you to be a sweet success. So you'll be a victorious success. And oh, my lordy. It's a wondrous universe. And you walk in the beauty. And you say, look at me. Here I am. Oh, gosh, and 
these somebody was trying to curse you. Somebody was trying to curse you and your wondrous way of doing things and your success. But you know what it means? Uh, they're going to start noticing you're noticing. <laughs> they're they're noticing that you're up and coming. And set a timer for 10 minutes and write as though you're reporting. So set a timer and write for 10 minutes. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Did you hear that? Now, shit for now. Oh, wow, well, you're a poet and you didn't even know it. Oh, gosh, and you express with your love language. You're a Libra. You're a Libra balance. You're balancing your woman and your man energy. Oh, gosh, and this is your sacred space. And you find peace, security, and contentment when you're surrounded by nature's beauty outside. Oh, wow, look at that waterfall. I love it. Do y'all love it? Oh, and then we got the air element helping you, and uh, you're all known for being curious, intelligent, very communicative, and air sign will talk your ear off, sharing their brilliant ideas and taking you down their many trains of thought. They might just text you a novel while also swapping through uh, another app and simultaneously posting the perfect selfie. Uh, <laughs> that's so true. You got like 12 fucking hands, and I just made a card. I'm making a card that said that, and nobody can steal it. And the embodiment of the gift of gab. They have a wide circle of friends and are easy to get along with. You may find them in the fields of communication, television, news, and writing. Oh, God, you need to go outside and write in the nature. Libra balanced air. Gemini Aquarius. Oh, God, you all come out, Gemini Libra Aquarius. It all pulled out in a line. I just know the spirit and two fire signs. So, you might be on TV. Oh, God, you're going to be on a TV? Oh, you know why? Because you're an open channel. Oh, and this is my energy. I got lots of Libra. I love myself. Oh, and being open channel. This is about, you're a medium. This is mediumship. Your ancestors and the spirits help you. I love you, ancestors and spirit. And I thank you for showing me all these messages that piqued my curiosity. And, and you keep showing me all these wondrous signs and all these other people, and the people love you, and they thank you, because this is your eternal spirit, and you're all out here, and we love you gals, and this is about using your higher self, your sacred intuition, pay attention now, oh, and this is about your inner strength, your inner strength, your eternal spirit, oh, wow, and, and you're discovering the truth, and you stand in the light of truth, yes, I do, and 2727, yes, I do, and you're a gym 99, Oh, wow, you might be getting ready to gain $50,000. I love you, spirit. That was amazing. You're observing this pattern, and you make it your new normal to pay attention to the size of the wind, the flight paths of the birds, and the whispers of the leaves, and air came out. Did you hear that? I love you, spirit. You yeah, down gym for your specialness, sir. You darn our signs. That's what it said now. That's what it said now. Shit. Oh, and it says here... Oh, angel, you help those in need with no expectation in return. And they love you, Aquarius, because you know how to collaborate and smooth talk and say, I love you, honey bunches of oats. That's what he does. He just pour out all your love because you're flames of wisdom. You're an old crone. And I am open to all of life's wisdoms and share it with gratitude because you're grateful for everything. And I'm grateful for everything you give me. Oh, and this is might be your planetary return, and this occurs when a transiting planet crosses the spot it was in when you was born. Each month, we have a lunar cycle where the moon connects with the position it was at the moment we was born. Each year, we have our solar return, our birthday. Saturn returns to the point of every birth, 28 to 30 years, and this is often a major coming-of-age moment. Ha-ha! Associated with committing to a career path or a long-term relationship. The time each planet takes to travel the wheel of the zodiac determines the significance of each return. The longer the return, the more powerful it is in our lives. And that's why I'm so special. And Saturn and air came out in my sign, Aquarius. And I got a bunch of Libra in. Why it's doing this is it's because Saturn is getting ready to award you in your career and with a new long-term relationship. Did you hear that? Pay attention to the message. It's true what I just said. Y'all need to hit like and subscribe. And and uh, they brought you an earth angel. An earth angel. And, it, and it's yours, Aquarius. And and I guess you know this. It is about survival, adaptable, and reliable. Your, your partner's very reliable. 
and you're you know uh, you're a personal guide. This is about your you're a guardian angel. This is your spirit family guardian angel angel Aquarius. Oh, I love that spirit. And spirit shot it all out. I love spirit more than anything in this world. And I'm grateful of you, spirit. And I'm grateful for my collective, and I hope that you bless him, uh, bless my collective spirit. And baby, and Baba Yaga said, you need to practice our patience. Practice patience, my dear. And keep embracing your enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Say, oh, a glory, glory, hallelujah. I'm happy as can be. Say like that. <laughs> oh, and then it's a visor. Oh, once within the next year, you can ask a question and you're going to receive a truthful, helpful solution. Oh, and practice reading symbols, interpret symbolism of a rowan tree, beginning with history and mythology, then look at a modern scientific and or en engineering info. Take a gander at known symbols, end with your personal reflection. So, interpret the symbolism of a rowan tree, a R-O-W-A-N. I don't know what that means, you all, but somebody does. Oh, wowdy woody, and hear what it said. Last one. And if this is any of your all signs, y'all need to hit like right now and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. Oh, and gossip, and it was sideways. And uh, they, this person, they thrived on the passing of private and secret information. And it was a Sagittarius. And uh, could that they were that started a lot of gossip or this Sagittarius could have got a lot of good gossip done on it. Take the story as it is. Oh, this is about wheel of life. I am guided by the cycles of life and I live in complete harmony with them. See, you're 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 harmonious with yourself. And this is post shadow retrograde and it's going on right now because uh, Mercury retrograde stopped. And the retrograde follows the retrograde. This phase takes place after the planet has stationed. When the planet appears to stop before beginning retrograde and it's working its way to the final degree where the cycle began. In this phase, you are clearing up what became undone or was confusing during the actual retrograde. In general, post-shadow retrograde is when you can recover or reckon with what got shaking up during that cycle. So somebody's trying to... Um, they want to clear up anything that was confusing at this moment. This Sagittarius might be. And uh, treat your body well. You need to exercise, meditate, and get a massage. That's what it says now, Sagittarius. Oh, and you might be a Pleiadian. And the Pleiadians is about unconditional love. You're very excited and you love laughing. That's me. Oh, I love laughing so much. And you got a soulful appreciation. You got heartfelt gratitude. You're grateful and you're balanced in your life. You're balanced. That's 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 what makes you feel wonderful. And maybe you got emotep in you, and uh, you're a visionary. You you you're made to um, shine your light on all. You um, you're meant to do something. You're meant to do something. Maybe you got Egyptian lineage and you're in the flow at the moment. Everything is smooth sailing. Everything's smooth sailing now. Okay, Sagittarius. And orchard, it says you gain the seed of a fruit tree. If you plant it, it grows to fruition in seven days. Unless the tree is chopped down, it provides unlimited food and sustenance forever. So it says to me up here, whoever... This Sagittarius is going to provide food and sustenance forever for you. They don't give a fuck about all this gossip. Or if they started this gossip, they're sorry. And they're going to take care of you during this post-shadow retrograde. They're going to let you know. And it's about unleashing your senses. How does the night feel on your skin? Is it a blanket or a butterfly kiss? Is the night air humid, playful, sensuous, or chilly? Ooh, go outside, see how it feels tonight. Oh, 33, 30, oh, 55. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. It's 33, 55. So I hope this message helps somebody out here today. And I love you all very, very much. And I appreciate you. Uh, thank you. And I hope this helps somebody out here today now, you guys. I sure hope it does. I'm going to have to get off here because i got to go to the grocery store. But it was nice seeing you guys today, and I love you, and have a wonderful Thursday. And uh, get you a good smooch today, and I love you guys. Peace. Woo. <laughs>